Hi, my name is Rachel Martyr. I'm one of the rabbis at Congregation Bethel in South Orange. This month of February, we're marking Jewish Disability Awareness, Acceptance, and Inclusion Month. And it gives us the opportunity to reflect on this important value for so many of us here at Bethel, and I know for many of you, um, to make our synagogue spaces, our religious schools, um, and all of our community spaces more inclusive and accessible for all people anyone who walks through our doors. In reflecting on this mitzvah, I was struck by a pasuk in this week's parsha, Parsha Mishpatim. In Shmot chapter 23, verse 5, it says that when you see the donkey of your enemy lying under its burden, and you would refrain from raising it, you might just walk on by and ignore it. You must nevertheless help them raise it. Don't ignore them. Don't ignore that donkey. Don't ignore the person. Uh, don't ignore the fact that they are being crushed by a burden. Me'azovlo, azov, ta'azov, imo. And that that word um, from the root ein zayin vet, azov, ta'azov, that repeats several times um, is to provide emphasis. You shall surely help them raise that burden. Our sages in Tractate Bava Metzia learn a few um, important aspects um, about this mitzvah from the verse. So first of all, the azov ta azovimo, um, or me azovlo, it may, because it repeats so many times, they say, you know what, it may take four or five times um, to raise that burden, but you're obligated to keep doing it. Um, don't give up if after the first time it falls again. Um, you, must, you must keep doing this until uh, the burden is truly lifted, and that's why azov repeats several times. Um, secondly, it's important that the verse ends with the word imo, with him. This is not a mitzvah that you can perform by yourself. Uh, it's a mitzvah that has to be done in partnership, in collaboration, together with the owner. And so in thinking about this month of February and Disability and Inclusion Month, um, I think there are a couple takeaways that we can, um, that we can hold on to and to inspire us in this work. The first is we're not going to get it right every time. Um, you may have made a sensory space um, in your synagogue, as we have, um, that needs to be improved. Um, that needs uh, that needs to be that needs to be better. You thought you did it one way, and it it needs to go. You need to go in a different direction. We need to be open to the feedback. We need to be open to changing what we've done to become more inclusive, and to and to making our synagogue spaces um, as best as they can be. And so we have to relieve that burden, even if it takes four or five times, to never stop working at this important mitzvah. Second of all, emo uh, with him. It must be done in partnership and in collaboration. It shouldn't be that the parents of a child with special needs or an adult with, um, with a disability should be working on this by themselves or doing all of their advocacy, um, all of their advocacy on their own. No, this should be a partnership. And Jewish Federation of Greater Metro West um, has a lot of support for this. We've benefited from it, um, but it's something that we have to do together, emo. That's not all on one person, but is truly a shared all a shared um, obligation and, and burden on each of us to help lift. All people uh, should feel comfortable um, and safe emotionally and physically coming into our Jewish spaces. And so I hope that this month of February, we can be inspired to push that work forward. Shabbat Shalom.